dice thrown, Santa versus Krampus. Oh, look at that. Look at that delightful art. Uh, Krampus looks messed up. I'm, I'm just going to say it right, right there. Krampus looks messed up in the just the right kind of way. So this was a Kickstarter um, and pretty quick release for a Kickstarter just within a few months. So we've got, ooh, look at the inside of the box. That's probably a stretch goal from Kickstarter. Uh, that's really fun. A little fun extra there. I got my money's worth. <laughs> All right, so we've got the box there. And we've got new rules. Okay, so this is the rules version 2.4. Uh, which is interesting because I think the last one that I've seen is 2.3. I thought it was 2.2, but... All right, so we've got our little tokens or chits, as sometimes people like to call them. And these look to be standees for Dice Throne Adventures. Ooh, look at that. We got bells. We got mugs of hot chocolate or some such. We got... Coal for <laughs> Krampus. I guess that could be also for Santa. And then Santa's hands giving gifts. How delightful. Okay. Uh, rule book for Dice Thrones. Always uh, excellently laid out. Graphically enticing and interesting to look through. Really one of the fun things about uh, Dice Throne is all of the uh, great rules. Uh, the great design. And it... it carries over the character design and everything. Uh, the rules are usually pretty darn clear and they just keep getting clearer and clearer with each version. So excellent. Okay, now we move on to the characters. Uh, you know what? I want to do Santa first because I'm a little less scared. I'm a little less scared of Santa than Krampus. <laughs> okay, so let's take a peek -sies at Santa. Let's see what we got. Uh, these trays are always quite amazing. They are game trays. Uh, outstanding quality always that I've always seen. All right, so here is our here's our player board for Santa uh, in Santa vs. Krampus. So this is always the defensive region, and then this is the easy dice to roll. Um, that is great. We won't go into too, too much depth. Really nice. Oh, just always beautiful. Always beautiful layout and design. I love it. And I hope you love it too. That's gonna be Santa. Then we've got Santa's uh, kind of cheat sheet guide santa is a complexity three which is right smack pretty much in the middle oh i love it and we've got santa's dice i think they're special little special little dice for kickstarter um lots of rolling in dice throwing, so that's always really a super fun part of the game then of course all of the uh, all of the little tokens go in here. And, oh my gosh! Look at that! Look at that! Let's let's take a quick peek see through. Um, always, this is the the most self esteem damaging part of opening a game is not being able to open the pack of cards. But we did it! All right, look at that nice. Nice foiled uh, card. That's his mythic ability. Rebel without a claws. Ho ho ho. Nogtastic. Rude off. Gang deer. Extremely naughty. White elephant gift. Santa's helper. Eggnog in it. Reindeer games. These are upgrade cards here. 
holly jolly, throws the cheeks, festivities. Always love upgrading. That's one of my favorite parts about Dice Throne is upgrading the player board. Super fun. Helping hand one more time. Same Z's. These are these are generic cards that uh, are in most of the heroes. Getting paid. Tip it. Bye bye. Double up. Triple up. Triple, triple, triple up. Get that out of here, Vegas baby. What status effects? Transference. Uh, just a fun decorative card. And then a little card where it's going to tell us all the turn order stuff. Beautiful. I love it. I really do love this game. Then we've got our combat point style. And of course, our health dial. We often play three-player games, which start off at 35. But I think most regular games start at 50 points if you're playing 2v2 or two on two, one on one. My math, not so good. All right, so that is going to be uh, Santa versus Krampus. I always leave my cards. So the game trays always does a great job with dice thrown of leaving enough space in there to be able to sleeve those cards. So thank you, Game Trace. Keep doing what you're doing, my friends. All right, then we got Krampus. Boom. I'm terrified. <laughs> Look, who wouldn't be terrified of Krampus? Come on. He's, he's hideous and terrifying. That's, that's our dear Krampus right there. So, uh, it's a beautiful board though. I mean, how can you not love this art that Roxley does for Dice Throne? It's just, just gorgeous. Again, we've got our defensive down here. We've got our small straight, our large straight scavenge. It just looks really, really fun. Really, really top, top notch art production and design all around with dice thrown as always um, here is the leaflet they call it so I will call it that too uh, Krampus is a little bit more complex and this is another great thing about the dice thrown universe if you will uh, all the characters are interchangeable and you can fight character versus character so you can fight Marvel dice thrown versus Santa uh, you can fight uh, Spider-Man versus Krampus, what, whatever you want to do, Doctor Strange, really nice, really nice dice here. Give a, give a couple throws. I can do it. I can give a couple throws. You can see I'm going a little into goofy mode thanks to the sheer excitement of and dice down. Okay, we've got, uh, I don't remember, did my Santa? I don't think Santa had one of these. Let's see what we got. I can't remember. Um, these are, these feel like the plastic PVC cards that are probably just specific to Krampus. We've got Dottie, a horrible, horrible doll. You don't want that doll in your Christmas stocking. We've got Bitey. Same story. I don't want that. <laughs> Sprungy. Uh, these are delightfully terrifying and horrible toys for naughty little children. Thank you, Krampus. Then we've got Sargi. Sargi is less, Sargi is less terrifying to me. Squishy, squishy, um, squishy's leaving me a little concerned, but not terrified. And wormy, a little more terrified and concerned. Uh, these are great. These are great. Uh, that's going to be fun playing Krampus, playing with all of those. Um, super fun. Uh, I'm imagining it works like Loki's cards, if you've ever played uh, my Marvel Dice Throne. 
Loki has some great cards that are also that uh, that plastic stock. Uh, again, this is my self esteem is just plummeting right now because man versus card pack should not be that hard. In fact, I think just talking about it made it a little easier for me. I felt like I had something to prove, and I think I proved it. I beat that pack. <laughs> All right, here's our nice, beautiful, foiled Krampus. Let me get it up here, too. Ooh Mystic, mythic ability Krampus card. Then we've got a crusty Krampus. See, it doesn't look like it's focusing. Um, Regift. Because who doesn't like to regift? Am I right? Dottie's Diversion. Oh, terrified. Spongy Surprise. Bitey's Bite. Give a little. Krampus's Helper. Oh, these are so fun. Deviled Eggs, too. Oh, the theme of this is just delightful. Rejection. Rotter. These are upgrades. Spoils. Misbehaving, too. Scavenge. Swat, too. Six it. Better D, these are gonna be all generic, I think. So wild, try, try again, twice as wild, not this time, getting paid. Tip it, oh, bye. Double up, triple up, get that out of here, Vegas baby. What status effects transference? Another art card, it's quite lovely. Just great art, and one of those cards, so. Um, unsleeved as yet, but don't worry, gang. I will be sleeving them. Of course, we've got we've got Krampus's combat points right here, and his health dial, which is just always. Nope, I thought I had it upside down. Oh, oh, they put it upside down, or they were like, take this. Krampus is messed up. So that's interesting. I don't know if that was uh, deliberate. The numbers and the health dial are opposite. Um, I think you can absolutely make a case that they did that on purpose, but we'll see. So Santa versus Krampus. So excited. Um... We do want to put everything in there, don't we? Uh, Krampus. Great. How exciting. We've got the rules. We've got, again, these uh, tokens, which I'll be putting in later. Taking those down. Take them apart and such. Oh, very excited. So that is Dice Throne Santa versus Krampus. I'm super excited to play this. Uh, again, family favorite with Dice Throne. Uh, was walking through Barnes & Noble one time looking for a book. And I was like, oh, Barnes & Noble has games. Oh, what's this game? I've never heard of this game. It's called Dice Throne. Looked it up on Board Game Geek and was like, dang, that is rated rather high. It was 8.1 or whatever, whichever set it was. Uh, bought it. Risked it, loved it. So thanks for uh, tuning in and hope that uh, gives you a little bit more information about what's in the box. A fur dice thrown Santa versus Krampus. <laughs> Make sure to hit like and subscribe so that I know that you liked and subscribed. <clears throat>